Hi everyone and welcome to Cat Scratch Kitchen. Today we're going to make another easy pantry mix, McCormick's Meatloaf Seasoning Mix. This is a blend of herbs and spices that adds great flavor and texture to your meatloaf. You can make it with ingredients that you probably already have in your spice rack and it's much cheaper with no additives and preservatives found in the store-bought packet. Plus you can customize it to your taste and preference. Want to give it a try? Then grab your apron and let's get started. Okay, for our meatloaf seasoning, really simple. We need two teaspoons of dry mustard. I'm going to mix up enough just for one meatloaf. You can multiply it and store it in a jar for up to six months if you want to make more at one time. I need two teaspoons of paprika. one teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of dried thyme, and I like to kind of run it through my palms just to break it up a little bit. One and a half teaspoons of basil, a teaspoon of ground black pepper, a teaspoon of garlic salt, or I'm sorry, garlic powder, not garlic salt, and a teaspoon of onion powder. Now, if you just want to make one batch at a time, you can put it in a Ziploc bag and store it in the cabinet. Or like I said, you can multiply this recipe and store it in a jar or a larger Ziploc bag. Also, at the end of the recipe, I'll give you the measurements for a typical meatloaf that you would use this mix in. And this amount that you're seeing right now is the amount that you would use for one recipe of meatloaf. Be nice and juicy and flavorful. Thanks for joining me today as we recreated the iconic McCormick Meatloaf seasoning mix together. If you enjoyed this DIY journey, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more kitchen adventures. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this copycat recipe or any other seasoning mixes you'd like me to recreate. Drop your suggestions in the comments below and of course, share this video with your fellow home cooks who appreciate making their own kitchen staples. As always, the recipe is in the description box below, as well as a link so that you can print it out. And don't forget, come back next week for more great recipes. And until then, have fun in the kitchen.